All right. Think we got this down the first time? Let's find out. Oh, technology. One day. Haha, <laughs> victory. You guys, we did it. Woo! I will take that as a first thing in the morning thing. Uh, hi, good morning. <laughs> it is 9.30 a.m. where I am. I don't know what time it is where you are, but it's starting off as a beautiful day over here. Uh, we have sunshine, finally, after weeks and weeks of not. So, super exciting for me to just be like, hey, hey, sun, how's it going? I'm hoping we don't get any more snow from here out, but, you know, this is Alberta, and that could be very much in vain. We'll find out. Today I'm working on a compass rose for a new map that I am working on. Um, this map has actually been commissioned by a friend of mine, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's such an honor to be included in your friend's creative processes. So this is going to be for Raven's map. And um, she had designed one originally that had a bunch of swords on it. And I thought that the original design was quite great. And she just asked for a compass rose in general. She didn't specifically say hers, but I think it's awesome. So I think we're just going to reimagine it a little bit and make it bright and shiny for her map. Um, I'm going to play with a couple designs today, just see if I can find something that I like. Um, I'm trying to work in the scale that it will appear on the final map. Um, just because that makes life easier for me later. And yeah, mostly just hanging out. It's kind of the deal today. I think my pencil sharpener ended up back downstairs when we were gaming. Oh, well there we go. That solves that problem. Let's use this one instead. So I don't know too much about swords. Um, so right now I'm mostly just playing with proportions. And then I'm going to go online and I'm actually going to find examples of various kinds. And properly fill in the details. Don't ever let somebody tell you that a real artist does not use references because that's nonsense. Um... But yeah, for now, just bear with me. If none of this looks historically accurate, there's reasons. <laughs> so one of the things that Raven was telling me is that her favorite number is seven. Uh, so I'm actually planning on doing a border for this map, which I don't typically do. Um, that is all based on the figure of seven. So we'll see how that goes in the end, but I was picturing something with like a very stylized kind of seven shape. Something like that on repeat. And then, you know, fill it in with some kind of fancy fondness. Maybe something like that or something else. We'll see. Hey, John, how's it going? But yeah, mostly just going to trick away on this today. I imagine I'll probably be able to get it done for the hour that we're hanging out. And then working on her map for the rest of the day. Um, we had our last game with a friend of mine who's deploying to Iraq uh, last night, which was a little bittersweet. Um, it's really hard posting season, um, which if you're not in a military family, it's basically every year the army, or at least the Canadian army, um, lets you know if you're staying where you are or if you're going somewhere else. And if you're going somewhere else, you're posted. And um, we found out friends of ours who weren't expecting to be posted for another two years have, they're being posted, but he's being deployed um, to Poland and then Iraq and he leaves tomorrow. Um, we had like two weeks notice 
And then his partner, who's my best friend out here, is being posted to their new location in July. So it's just kind of bittersweet. I'm definitely going to miss having them here. Hi, Saxon. I'm doing my stream, buddy. I can't play with you right now. Can you chill? Sorry, guys. The dog. <laughs> The game went well. We didn't die, um, which is good. And uh, we're trying to figure out now how to organize running our colony because we haven't set up any specific direct representation like democracy or anything like that. So that's the next task to kind of pay attention to and get sorted out. I need a different kind of hilt here, maybe a straight hilt. Just a brutish, kind of directly sideways one. Anyway, the reason I brought up the sevens is I think I might try to start out that pattern in the compass rows so that it matches with the border once I finally get the border going. Um, so we'll maybe start that over here. Sorry if you guys can hear Saxon in the background. He's finally decided he wants to do something this morning. I would lock him out, but 110 pounds of German Shepherd gets really, really loud against a door. Hi, baby. Yes, you know it's Thursday. I'm busy. I can't play right now. Should actually be over here a little bit more. That one would be there. Uh, mm hmm I know. Unfortunately, you are going to be stuck for another hour. <laughs> mm-hmm. Go do something else. It's kind of cool being able to put in various details for someone into a map. Like, it's just a fun thing that I happen to know that Raven loves sevens. So it's like, I can put this in here and that will make this map extra special for her. Which is just like, woo. Fun plan. I approve. Saxon, no. Go settle, bud. You're being very annoying. Thank you. He's very disappointed with me, I'm sure. So in the final design, I'll make sure that I tick this off at regular intervals so that we end up with a perfectly even pattern. Um, but that has not going to be a super hardcore priority for me right now if I'm just in the design stages. So then I think we are going to want a little bit of a border around that outside circle. And that was the one I used. So this is the one I need. Nope. Other way. This thing comes with little, like, nubby feet on the back of it. I'm not entirely sure why, um, but I find them very annoying. And I would much rather that they just didn't. But what are you going to do? This one, that seems really big compared to what I want. I need a proper protractor, you guys. This is getting old. <laughs> There's a really neat tool that Myrna found called a Helix, I think it is. And um, it's a plastic circle that has an abundance of different notches in it for... It's functionally a protractor, just... 
in a really awesome shape. I dig it quite a bit. Um, and it just makes circles a lot easier. And there's more variety in like what circles you can draw than the template that I usually work with. So I like the idea of it very much. See, that's not perfectly straight, which is my problem. There we go, that's a little better. And then I think we want to do that on the inside as well. All right, so that gives us a pretty solid core design to be working with. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what font she wants for her cardinal directions. So let's make some good guesses. Hey, Myrna, how's it going? Nice. That sounds like a pretty good morning to me. Is it your first time ever reading that book? It's such a good book, but be prepared to like ugly cry at the end. Just warning you. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> then I feel a little bit better. I don't feel like you're going in there unprepared. Uh, I don't know if I am or not. I'm leaning towards not right now. Um, I'm just feeling 
pretty verklempt with things. Last night was our last game with Brian. Um, he leaves for uh, Iraq tomorrow. So I'm just kind of feeling like I should probably actually stay home this weekend because this will be the first weekend that Nick's by herself. So as much as I want to, I feel like kind of duty to the friends needs to come first right now. Murphy's Law is that she's not going to need anything, but I would rather be here just in case she does. Because, you know, suddenly being a single parent for a year is probably something that sucks. I don't have a lot of experience with it, so I don't know. Yeah, I know for sure. I'm just wanting to make sure that everything else is okay, too. Plus, I'm supposed to run game tomorrow, and I didn't really think about that before. I was like, hey, let's go to the city on Friday. Would have had to make that agreement with my players. and Did not do that. And considering that one of my players is Nicole, it's like, yeah, maybe I should just not mess with the routine right now. I've always wanted to get better at drawing basket weave patterns. That's a thing in my life. Problem is I really don't know where to start. I guess that might be a thing. That'll work for now. Oh, I cannot draw straight lines today, you guys. My goodness. This is problematic. It is the terrible. I want that to be like a fancy rapier hilt, but we're not there yet, so we will get there eventually.
Yeah, something like that'll work, I think. All right, and then I need a thicker marker, a little pen, something. My radiographs are almost dead, Myrna. I think I might have to splurge on a few more. <laughs> yeah, not a trip to the art store indeed. Apparently we're driving into Lloydminster tonight to look at armchairs. And then I think, what, heavy banding for these outside circles? That might look really nice with the amount of open space that's going on in here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to change the hilt on this one if we're gonna do that, because that's just not effective. Although, hang on, white pen. White pen might solve our problem. And it does, hooray. I guess I'm not feeling super talkative this morning. Sorry, all. Some days are better for that. Other days, not so much. If you want to tell me what's going on in your corner of the world, I'm not averse to that. Mm, but if we do that, we now can't really tell those are sevens. Hmm. Okay, well, follow this idea through to the end and then figure out what you're going to do, Shay. We must maintain the structural integrity of the seven. So again, with the white pen, let's see if that works. Bump that a little bit. Yeah, okay, that works. I like that, that's fine. Yeah, right? That looks all right. Cool. So I was saying earlier, I don't think you were on yet, Myrna, that this is actually Compass Rose for Raven, uh, who is a friend of mine, and Raven's favorite number is seven. So 
I was thinking it might be really cool to try and add some sevens into the map. Um, so I'm going to do it in this border for the compass rose, and then they actually want a border on their map as well, which I don't typically do, but, you know, I've just mostly because I never have. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Um, so I figure why not experiment? Friends art projects are a great time to experiment because they're usually very forgiving. <laughs> So I'll incorporate the sevens into the border as well. I just wanted to kind of start playing with it on the compass rose to get myself used to the idea. I really love doing compass roses. Like, they're fun. It's probably partially to do with the evenly segmented geometry, which I'm not, like, geometry is not my strong suit, guys. Just trust me on that. Um, but I like radial designs, and this is a really fun way to get to play with those. I can't think of anywhere else in my work where I really do. Oops. And they're just a fun way to add, like, instant flavor to your map. You can do a lot of landscapes that all just generally kind of start to blur together after a while. But then instantly, Compass Rose will set the tone and kind of tell you more about a place, or at least about who made it. Um, I use that to my advantage when I'm making games for my maps and stuff, because certain map makers have a different style of doing Compass Roses. Um, my main map maker in Dave's campaign currently, her name is Deer, um... She saw a Zartan, which for those of you who do not play Dungeons & Dragons, is a turtle that's 500 meters across. It looks like an island when it's sitting on top of the surface of the water. Um, and seeing the Zartan was basically like a religious experience for her. And so she uses a compass rose that looks like a turtle now. Uh, and so you always know it's one of Deer's maps because it's the turtle. As if compared to other maps that get made. Yeah, I can see that about the Mandela's Myrna for sure. Was that a Skillshare class? Oh, by Elisa Burke. You really like her classes. Yeah, I'm wondering about getting a Skillshare, Skillshare subscription. I um, had a request to do a map yesterday that I had to turn down because they wanted digital coloring, and that's not a thing I know how to do. 
Um, so I feel like I maybe need to jump on that train and teach myself a few things. Skillshare seems like a reasonable place to check for tutorials. Was I? I don't remember that. I'll take the credit, though. <laughs> oh, W's, you are like one of my least favorite letters. So I really don't like the font of this W, that's going to change. It's just not, it's too wide compared to everything else. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I do like the X in the middle though. So we'll keep that, just change the spacing. And then you became obsessed with her. <laughs> Awesome. I should probably go look more closely at her stuff then because I know the name, but I mostly know the name because you tell me the name, not because I'm consciously aware of her work. So I feel like this is a solid start. Um, I don't know that I like this S. I think it looks a little too much like a five. Um, the W is definitely too wide. Do I need to make the sevens fancier or are they fine like that? I feel like they're probably fine like that because of the hilts of the sword are gonna be fancier. Okay. Well then maybe I'll leave them alone for a little while. All right, what kind of font do I want? What kind of font do I want? Nicole was singing Whip My Hair Back and Forth during game last night and it is stuck in my head now. It's very unfortunate. Okay, what about that? I have a book of Rodney Matthews art in front of me. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with his work, but it's quite wonderful. And he has actually developed a couple of fonts that are really fun. I have a lot of appreciation and respect for people who develop fonts. It's not a thing I can do. My eye for rhythm and spacing does not seem to extend to letters. This one or this one? E on the right or E on the left, Miss Myrna? That's gross. Do, do.
<laughs> right? Let me show you the actual font here. Hang on. Just let me finish filling this in. I love his work. It's just so gorgeous. So this is the page I'm looking at currently. This is the one I think I want to use. I don't know that I'm going to include all of the hashes um, that indicate the stonework. I don't know that that's going to fit with the aesthetic of the map. But I love the double line that's going on on some of these letters. I think that that's really great. Actually, that seven could be a lot of fun, too. But yeah, they're very fun. Very fun. If you get a chance, this is his work. He's a genius. He is one of the most inspiring artists that I've ever encountered. Um, this book was a gift to me by my godparents when I graduated high school. And uh, it has been, it's the book I come back to over and over and over again. He just had such an incredible sense of style. Um, he was working in, I think it was the 70s and 80s. And did a lot of stuff with like book covers, uh, music covers. He did a lot of like album art for people, um, rock bands that were doing things. And like what I love about this, this is a really good example. Let's see if I can open this without losing everything. It'll show his initial stages sketches and then it'll show what the finished work came out as. Um, he worked primarily in ink and gouache which gives me a whole new respect for gouache because I really didn't have any knowledge of it as a material prior to seeing his work. Um, but yeah, he just, I'm in love with all of it so, so much. Um, he said something in one of the interviews that's in this book that has always really stuck with me and that, that the basis of good fantasy drawing um, is rooted in reality because there's always super strange things in reality. We just don't necessarily look closely to them and then abstract them into something that could be fantasy. So they included a bunch of pictures in the front of the book of different things that he took inspiration from. So like these pieces of ice are ice. Like we see them all the time in Canada. Um, but I'd never thought to like exaggerate that to make it the stone texture of a cliff, for example. Uh, he created aliens out of, like, grasshoppers. And so everything that you see when you're flipping through his stuff looks vaguely familiar. And it adds to that sense of, I know this, but also this is strange, right? Like, I'm sure we've all kind of seen the African baobab tree, but then this one looks slightly different and it's more creepy. Um, we know what Spanish moss looks like coming down trees in the bayou, but this looks different. This is clearly a bat, but kind of not. It's also sort of crossed in with the winged monkey things from Wizard of Oz and all of that. And it just, it creates a really gorgeous sense of the fantastic, in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, Rodney Matthews, guys. He's a genius. And I love him. <laughs> hey, Spud Gun, how's it going? Are you being sassy? Because that seems to be your way. So anyway, yeah, Rodney Matthews, definitely, definitely check him out because he's incredible. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we will use this font because this font is pretty epic. So this S has more of a curl. And then this W is also awesome. Do, do. Did the time zone mess things up for you, Brian? Now that we're in a slightly different time zone? 
I don't know if you daylight savings time or not. Yeah, I like that as a font choice much better. Okay, cool. We're going to do that. Perfecto. So, let's see what happens when we convert this 7 into those 7s. Let's just see. Changes at the end of the month. Oh, okay. Man, daylight saving is so confusing. I'm not a super huge fan, I have to say. Okay, what do we think of that, guys? Do we like that? I think I like that. Let's do a couple more. It's hard to get a sense of what's going on here. Yeah, I think that's fun. Kind of adds an extra element a little bit. Although I wonder if it loses a bit of the sense of, hey, I'm a seven. I think part of it is I probably don't want to be working as thick as I am with this pen. Maybe let's make that thinner. Do, do, do. Let's try this. Yeah, I like that with the thinner lines. That's pretty shiny. So what happens if we leave them that thin? And just... Do that. I don't think they can be super thin. I think there has to be some line weight there, hey? What about a double line weight? Hmm. 
Yeah, now I feel like the thicker ones are better. I'm just looking at it through my phone and actually the fact that it kind of goes from thick to thin is really trippy. I'm kind of enjoying that. It really gives it a neat sense of movement and of depth. Things you don't intend for when you start working on something. <laughs> All right, so let's maybe thicken that a little bit more. Pretty fun though. I love it when things just kind of happen. I th this is my favorite part of the process is it's like, oh, let's try this. Hey, cool. <laughs> That's a thing. Okay, I'm gonna leave a few of these as open sevens just so I can show Raven and see what she says. About all of that. I'm quite happy with that, honestly. Um, I need to do some sword references, though, because none of those swords are historically accurate. So, let us have a bit of sword hunting. So I'm just looking for some references, guys, so I won't be able to see the chat for a minute. Okay, so how about we have like how about a rapier first? Have I said lately how cool I think the internet is? Because it really is. Looks good.
Oh, that's definitely too wide on that side. There we go, that's better. And this could probably even be a little bit longer. Do 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 do. Singing sword songs. Not that I really know what a sword song sounds like, but that's okay. I like that they're all different lengths here, but I do not know how that's gonna work. Unless I layered the letters over, but then that might look sloppy too. I'm gonna have to play with that some more. Cause like that is a restriction when you're dealing with different kinds of things and you want them to at all be accurate. But I mean, we can also just create similar shapes that don't line up to anything specific. I feel like this would be smoother if I knew more about how swords got made. But I'm that person too, like I wanna know everything from the ground up before I start doing something. And I've had to learn to let that go when it comes to drawing because otherwise nothing gets done. <laughs> it's like you can't, you can't learn the history of metalsmithing in one day so that you know how to properly draw a sword. Like, just stop it. Go find some reference photos. Get on with it. All right, that gives me a few options. I will come back to the chat now. Do do. So I think that I will sub out this one for that one. I kind of like the top one, I think I'm going to keep it. I think I'll probably do this one instead of that one. And I honestly don't hate this one, it just needs a little bit of finessing. Hooray, hooray. And done in under an hour. Hey, I love it when the plan comes together. What's everybody else up to today? I'm 
just gonna go shelve books. I'm working on Raven's map. Tomato soup? I'm coming to your house. That sounds amazing. I should probably eat some breakfast once this is done. Oh, nice. But you're getting it done. I'm proud of you. That's awesome. That's totally awesome. <laughs> Can't you wait until there's teleporters? Like, teleporters will revolutionize the world. I have so many friends overseas that it would just be so nice to be like, hey, I can see you more than once every five years. That would be super cool. <laughs> no, I don't think they'll be here in 30 minutes. More the shame for us. That is a bummer. All right. Well, I think I'm at a natural place to wrap up. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, I will be on the Discord after this. I'm going to go have some coffee and then be on the Discord. I'm just working in the office today, so if people want to come hang out, they are more than welcome to. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you just got here, but I need more coffee. and My caffeination is important. But yeah, if you want, come hang out on the Discord. And I will see you later. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Um, this was a fun little project to do. I'm glad that people came to keep me company. I hope that your day is as bright and sunshiny as mine is, or was, I guess, for those of you who are heading toward evening now. And I will see you next week. Catch you later.